Welcome back to the Fenrir Malinois channel. If this is your first time here, my name's Hattie. I'm a certified canine leader here at Fenrir, canineleaders.com. And this channel is dedicated to helping you learn everything you could possibly want to know about the Malinois, then how to become high level canine leaders that can raise the perfect Malinois. So if you're a lifelong Malinois lover, thinking about getting one, or you've just started your journey with your new Malinois, then this channel is for you. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn the notification bell so you never miss a future Malinois video. So let's dive into today's video and see how the amazing Belgian Malinois, who is the number one working breed in the world, works with kids, and what you should consider when choosing the right canine companion for your home. So let me be clear from the start, the Belgian Malinois is not the perfect choice if you want a loving family pet. This breed is amongst the most hardcore working dogs on the planet, and as such, the traits in this breed are not very suitable with the average family life, and I'll explain why through this video. The Malinois breed was originally bred for herding and has since been developed for, to be the perfect dog for military and police work, for guarding and protection, and they need an extreme workload to not go insane. They need their handler to be collected and focused, and let's be honest, if you have a family with one or more children, your focus will always be split. In general, the advice is that if you're gonna get a Malinois, you need to have extensive knowledge on dog training and how to be a calm and consistent leader for your canine companion. And when I say extensive knowledge of dog training, I mean this on elite levels. You need to be the kind of person who actually does work with the military or the police, or perhaps trains to compete on elite levels to meet on Malinois' needs. Otherwise, it's not recommended that you own one of these dogs. Hey guys, sorry to interrupt the video I wanted to quickly let you know if you didn't know already that I have a completely free course called the principles to the perfect puppy in that course I break down all of the most important things that I think you absolutely have to know and understand for you to become a high level canine leader that raises your own perfect canine companions so if you want to go and check out my completely free principles to the perfect puppy course there'll be a link down in the description box below Thousands of people have taken that and had incredible success. So I can't wait to see you over there. Again, there'll be a link in the description box below. I'll see you on that course. The traits that make the Malinois such a good choice for extreme canine work are the exact same reasons he's not suitable for children. For example, his herding instincts include chasing moving objects like playing children, bikes, skateboards, cats, birds, rabbits, moving cars, you name it. Given that he is often used in protection work, and this also comes from his herding skills and instincts, the Malinois is known for his bite. He likes to bite, and he wants to bite. You don't want a dog who suddenly gets the idea that it's a good idea to nip or actually bite your toddler for moving around the house or for being too far from the rest of the family. Now, the Malinois is not a monstrous dog. He's just a dog whose needs are near impossible to meet in the average family, especially if you lack knowledge and experience of dog. Whilst it may not be recommended to combine children and the Malinois, it can be done, but it requires that extensive knowledge, experience, and on top of that, some serious training and physical outlet for your dog's energy. It also takes some serious parenting skills on your part to teach your children how to behave with a Malinois in the house. It's also your job to set up the house rules not to trigger your Malinois instincts and for that you really need to know the breed. Now the American Belgian Malinois Club says that the Malinois are good with children and other animals when properly introduced or raised with them. However this dog can also be protective, territorial, possessive and jealous but this should be understood against the background of what the Malinois is. Sure, if you know what you're doing and you know how to set boundaries and limitations and how to be that calm and consistent canine leader and you know how to raise your children to know how to behave around a Malinois, your dog could function in a family situation. And then, of course, there's the part of the Malinois being protective, territorial, possessive and jealous. If your Malinois perceives someone as a threat to a member of his family, he will act on instinct. And again, this breed is known for the will to bite, thus you could have a disaster on your hands unless you know what you're doing. When it comes to other animals, the Malinois is, again, perhaps not the perfect breed to coexist with, for example, cats. A Malinois does have a strong prey drive and may very well chase and or try to bite. Due to their skills and protection, they do not bite softly and you could end up with an injured cat. Add to that their rather serious temperament and you'll have a dog that might try to domineer over any other animal in the house. If you've watched your other videos on the Malinois, you'll know that this breed most definitely isn't for everyone. On the contrary, the Malinois is suitable for a very small group of people. None of the information that we give you is meant to portray these dogs as monsters at all, but it's imperative that you understand that a Malinois may not be the most suitable dog for you. I also hope that you understand that while the Malinois may not be the ultimate family dog, it is possible to achieve, but it requires an extreme amount of work on your part, and if you don't have all that knowledge, all that experience, you most likely won't succeed in teaching this extreme dog how to behave. And why set yourself and your dog up for failure when there are so many other breeds out there more suited to do for you and your family? 
Hope you enjoyed today's video and if so make sure you hit that like button, get involved down in the comment section below and don't forget that if you're new here make sure you subscribe. We have two dedicated Malinois videos coming here every week so I can't wait to talk to you again in the next episode of the Malinois channel.